Welcome to March. February is finally over, which is awesome. I always say it has the shortest amount of days because it sucks the most. Did you know more people kill themselves in the month of February than any other month, which is why, thank goodness, it's the shortest month, but then also why I felt it was super important in March to have this reading center around our happiness, okay? So there are a lot of reasons why people watch these videos, but at the very core of it, I think that people are watching because they want some good news, right? They want something to look forward to. In the uh, words of Omar Suleiman, a very wise guy, he says that the keys to happiness are three things. Something to love, something to do, and something to look forward to. So hopefully, I'm gonna give you all of those in this reading. So, um, even if your life is already full of joy and happiness and bliss, if you're just wanting to hear some validation about these good vibes that you're already feeling, that, you know, to hear you're already on the right path, that you're making the right choices, the right decisions for that sense of security, security does bring happiness, right? Knowing what to expect. At the end of the day, happiness is what we're all seeking. It's the reason why we seek out help, why we would use a tarot reader, why we would look up our horoscope. This is why we're doing this, okay? We are fiends for happiness. It's the ultimate drug and so this is what we're focusing on in uh, March so this will be for your Sun moon or rising sign uh, a lot of times because of our moon sign correlates to our emotions and how we feel which is a lot of times why we make the decisions we make that might resonate a little bit better for you so um, it might be advisable to watch your moon sign as well as your Sun sign and then you could do your rising sign as well too if you'd like to um, what did I want to say okay so since we're focusing on happiness for March and how to kind of sustain that throughout the year this is how we're gonna look at it we're gonna do um, where are you at right now what is tainting any feelings of happiness that you otherwise should have right now what will make you feel happy or at least what you think will um, how is that perception true how is that perception false um, what will actually make you the most happy this month and then we're gonna look at the forces that are kind of outside of your control right, that is affecting this state, and um, which ones that are not really within your power are kind of accelerating your happiness, and then which ones are decelerating that. Um, we're going to look at what's going to bring you luck this month, your crystal of the month, your color energy, your lucky days, and then also any energies that you need to kind of bring into your life in order to help the happiness thrive, how to sustain the happiness once you get some, and then just kind of like a recap or overall nutshell of what March will look like for your sign. So um, kind of thinking about, you know, okay, well, is this reading going to be enough because it's for each specific zodiac sign, each sign has their own. Then I was thinking, um, those of you who have followed me for a long time might remember stop, drop, roll readings, uh, where it's something that you stop doing, something you drop from your life, and something you should roll with. I think I'm going to do a special on those, but um, really kind of amped up or accelerated in order to um, really harness in on that happiness sort of life coaching aspect. And the reason why I think this is important in March is because number one, it's the perfect time for spring cleaning, right? Uh, number two, the popularity of Marie Kondo right now and you know, sort of thinking about, let's get rid of the things that don't bring me joy. Let's just focus on the things that bring me joy and you know, we all are always looking for joy. We're either trying to increase pleasure or decrease pain. And so that's kind of the purpose of this reading. And then here's the other thing. We're about to step into this Mercury retrograde. We're in the pre-shadow period right now as I record this. And so then when it hits us, um, in order to use this time in its fullest potential, we want to very much evaluate, okay, this isn't working for me. I want to pitch this and I want to do something that's going to make my life better. It's going to make me happier. It's going to make me more joyful, more satisfied with life. And so um, I think I'm going to offer that like in sort of a goals and coaching, very intensive sort of way as a special. Um, once I decide to do that, 
if you're on the email list, um, I only send one email a month, so don't let that be a reason why you're not on my list. Um, then you'll be notified of that. And if there's like a coupon code or something that would be in there, uh, if you're not on the list, you should be because I give away, like I said, it's only one email a month, but I, every single month I give away a free 20 minute, um, video reading to uh, a random person selected from my list. So that being said, um, I'm sorry if this long intro did not bring you joy, if it decreased your happiness, but now you know what to expect in your reading. So let's get started. Hi, Cancer. Welcome to March. So what's going on for you right now? Um, they're saying like, you're not really putting a lot of love into the, some of the things that you're doing. And part of the reason is it's a Mercury retrograde, so you're looking at your past and you're like, oh my gosh, are these things gonna flare up again? Are they gonna become issues or problems in my life again? Like, what is it that I can do differently maybe to kind of keep that shit in the past? Um, so what is kind of tainting any feelings of happiness that you might have right now? And they're saying like, well, the fact that you're not being forthright, that you're not like kind of being assertive and going out of your way to communicate things that you have to that are deeply um, focused, like emotionally, like how you're feeling, you might not be expressing that to other people. And like, okay, so that makes sense. Like, obviously, if you are upset with somebody, is it going to bring you joy or happiness to share that? Probably not. But why is this... Um, you know, but like, why is it that this is kind of the reverse energy where actually sharing how you're feeling is going to increase your level of happiness? And they say, well, because by stuffing it, you're creating an emotional imbalance for you yourself that is longer sustained over the month of March, like over time. And so they're saying, you know, if you were just able to do this, different opportunities are going to come through for you. And this could be by way of like a new job opportunity. This could be like a physical gift from somebody. This could even be winning money at a casino or something like that. They're saying, but these kind of blessings don't come through unless you speak your truth. Now, why is that? They're saying because it's somewhat liberating and joyful to like just get stuff off your chest. The, and also it's about creating a space. So let's say that you're um, going through the airport with like a suitcase of all of your baggage and stuff feelings like in your sub, sub, in your subconscious. Okay. And then, but you have to book it to your connecting flight. And so as you're dragging your suitcase through the airport, you're slowed down because it's heavy. But like as soon as you start throwing stuff out of it, you know, you start speaking your truth even though it's hard and it's sad and that's why we suppressed it in the first place. The, the sooner we do that, the lighter our suitcase becomes and then we can make it to our connecting flight on time. But you're not going to make it to this opportunity, to this like um, gift or reward. It's like a tangible thing. It's like um, something of value in the physical world. You're not going to make it there unless you can start throwing shit out of your suitcase so that you can put more, better new things in there. Does that make sense? You can't just like keep putting, eventually the more shit that you put in there, you're not going to be able to zip it shut. That's the point. So you have to throw things out, create a space for new wonderful things to come through. Okay, so what do you think is going to make you happy? And they're saying something different. Something, you know, and it's not by way of another person. It's not like somebody else's ge generosity. Just something different in your life. Like a new way of thinking, a new thought, something new, a new friend. Um, you know, a different way to communicate with people. That's what you think is going to make you happy. So how is your perception true? And they're saying um, that, you know, something should be easy. It would be like a message just coming to you that, you know, you don't really have to work hard to obtain. It's not like you going out to find something. And, um, you know, I think these messages do come through for you this month. And it does create this energy of like happiness and fun and stability by the time that we get to the end of March and joy with another person. So this could be somebody reaching out to you um, with words of kindness, or um, maybe it's somebody asks you out and it's like a really good match for you kind of a thing. Um, how is your perception false though? And they say, well, you know, if you don't shift your perspective on, you know, clearing space in your life and having conversations that are difficult or hard, you're going to drive yourself bonkers. You're going to really feel this um, Pisces energy of like back and forthness, you know, where it's like you start going one direction, you're like, mm, no, and you go the other way and you're going to feel all over the place. And so... Um, that's kind of important for you. And so when it comes to relationships, it might be like, hey, you're all right. 
I just don't really love you and we've been hanging out for six months and it's like, you know, you're pretty perfect, but I'm just not feeling it and I don't know why and it's nothing you did, but I can't force myself to love you. Got to cut you loose. Um, having a conversation like that sucks. It's hard and maybe you want to give it more time to, you know, kind of work itself out to see if maybe you develop feelings for them. But if you don't chuck them to the side, how can you expect a new relationship to come through? Especially if you say, I'm not a cheater, I'm a loyal, faithful person, then that's not in alignment with who you are, and therefore it can't happen. Make sense? Okay, so what will actually make you the most happy this month? And they say, having fun, joy, um, you know, celebrations, maybe even a little bit of drinking. They say, like, the details of this are going to be, um, like, nonspecific because every single cancer is different, what you enjoy, but whatever you think is the most, like, fun way to celebrate or experience, you know, time with your friends is going to be the best thing for you. You definitely need to get out of the house. This is not a month where you stay in, and you might say this is a month where I stay in because Mercury retrograde and I'm always going to be late and you know whatever lose my wallet but it is a time for you to be spending a lot of time outside okay um forces that are at play outside of your control um and so they're saying that you might not be like okay because you have become recently a person who is a little bit more open to receiving blessings um, that is also going to require you to make some decisions. And so in order to make those decisions in favor of your happiness, they're like, okay, let's think about what isn't fair and what I don't want for the long term. Like if I see something that is unjust, I'm going to make a decision about that, that it's not fair for me. Okay. I'm going to speak up even though it's hard. And I'm going to do that right now. Um, but then also like, okay, so, you know, for example, in the context of that relationship that I mentioned previous, if I think this is good now, you know, um, but if I can't see myself with you in the long term, I'm just going to cut you loose now so that I can create a space for that long term person to come through. Does that make sense? So, um, what kind of circumstances outside of your control can kind of be a detriment to your happiness this month? And they say, um, people not being assertive enough with you either. And that's also unfair. So it might be on you to be like, hey, bitch, I can tell that you're holding something back. What is it? You know, I can see that you have something you need to say because you've been acting real weird. What is it? Um, and then, you know, also kind of saying like, I'm going to hold on to something that isn't good for me long term that I don't want long term. It's time to just ditch it. Even if this is a job, right? It's like, oh, well, I don't want to leave this job until I have a new one. Then start looking for a new one. And I know we shouldn't start new things in a Mercury retrograde. But if this is maybe you started looking for a job previous, like prior to the retrograde starting, then it's not a new task that you're embarking upon. It's just one that you're continuing that you're picking back up in a retrograde. Does that make sense? Okay. So... Um, what's going to bring you luck this month? So your lucky day of the month is the 22nd, and then your crystal of the month is sodalite. So in raw form, this is what it looks like, okay? And in tumbled form, this is what it looks like, okay? So sodalite correlates to the throat chakra. It does so many magical things, so I'm just going to uh, mention a few of them. But you could look this up on my website if you wanted more information. Also, I have both raw and tumbled ones there. And so you can get one from your local rock store or whoever you like to get your gems from. But if you get them from me, they come with um, a printout that says like, hey, here's all the angels that correlate to this. And here's how you care for this stone. And then also a video playlist of different ways you can use your crystal. Uh, so anyway, um, general things that the sodalites do. So this helps you be of good service to other people. So if you work in a service industry, this would be helpful, especially if you're hoping to make more tips or something like that. Um, it helps you to break addictive patterns and cycles. This helps you to be more courageous, more humble, increases your psychic awareness. It um, kind of helps you. It's like it's sort of a protection stone, which usually those are red or black. But this one also serves as a protective stone. It gets rid of um, anxiety. It calms like panic attacks down. This is helping a lot with emotional balance and mastery. This will help you to have more confidence. And then it also increases that sort of energy of like 
other people outside of you encouraging you and offering you praise and appreciation. So again, if you're in a service industry, might be helpful. Um, it gets rid of kind of obsolete, you know, like old mental patterns or behaviors, you know, things that we have that we're addicted to, like negative thinking, for example, helps us to just ditch that, which is awesome in um, tandem with a mercury retrograde, because that's already going to naturally bring those things to the surface. And so this will be like a less chaotic way of dealing with that than like a typical retrograde grade in tandem with a sodalite stone. Um, this helps you to feel like more trusting in yourself and like what you believe in and like in your ability to do the right thing and to like kind of lay your own path, that sort of thing. Um, it kind of, so like any idealism that you have, like, oh, this is how I want my life to look. Like it grounds it in reality and it like makes those really healthy because some of us kind of like, it's good to shoot for the stars, but some of us might like overshoot in like a very unrealistic way. Um, this takes any sort of like defensive personalities or tendencies or like also hyperactive ones and just neutralizes them, brings it down a notch, which is awesome um, because if you're less annoying, which I don't think a lot of you are, but I mean, everybody has their own annoying tendencies. Um, this is going to also help, you know, camaraderie. It's going to help with cooperation in group settings. It's going to help you meet goals, like individually and as a team. Um, it gets rid of guilt, control issues, so many things. It aligns all the upper chakras. It, there's just like so many awesome things with that stone. And so that's your stone of the month, okay? Now, um, as far as the rest of your reading goes... Let's see, um, what kind of energies do you need to bring into your life to kind of help happiness grow and thrive? And they're saying, um, this is about your spirituality, connecting more to the spirit world, to the spirit realm. So um, I'm gonna see the best way for cancers to do that this month. Uh, let's see. They're saying for many cancers, art would usually be the way. Creating music, writing, gardening, even cleaning your house can be art. You know, it's creating something. Typically, that would be the best way for you to do things. However, this month, um, for some of you, that's still the case. And But the rest of you have something different going on. So if you're doing that, you're not like really getting into that flow energy where things just kind of go normally, um, like you just like get in the zone. If that's not working for you this month, they say oh, look into palmistry for some of you. You know, like palm reading and stuff like that. A book on that might be like really cool. Okay. And then um, how are you going to sustain happiness once you get some? So once you feel these moments of joy this month, how are you going to deal with that? And they say that um, the best way for you to do that is kind of remembering that, you know, everything that falls apart, that crumbles, like any drama that happens in our life, it happens for a reason. And it's often for a highest good. Like even if something doesn't feel good, it's for a good reason. It creates something new. And so they say, you know, when things fall apart, this is an opportunity for us to step away from like a toxic situation, from something that we were trying to force to work that wasn't meant to work. And this is going to give us a lot of confidence, especially in a retrograde when things pop up and we're like, oh yeah, I got through that situation just fine. Like that was like total hell in the moment that it happened. But as a result, I'm better for it. You know, like good things happened as a result, like once I moved past it. And so they're saying like, you know, don't go creating situations that are hard. Um, but you know, kind of framing those things are going to help you to really walk in this happiness and joyful energy. Um, so before I get to your March overall, in a nutshell, I forgot to tell you your color energy of the month. And it's important because, so your color energy of the month is white, who somebody else had, I can't remember, Aries. So if you have cancer and in your Aries in your chart, big, big thing. Um, so anyway, the number energy here is 24, which is an energy of like things are okay, you know, and they're getting better all the time. And this is thanks to an energy of balance. But with white, it says lighten up. And so white as a color energy, you can wear white, um, you can eat white chocolate, but you can play in the snow. Just anything surrounding this color is going to help you embrace that. Now, um, we'll, I kind of like to use white through my crown chakra and just like kind of going through my body and sort of picking up any energies that are yucky and then pushing those out my root chakra into the ground to be dissolved. Uh, this is a very cleansing energy. But it says underneath here, lighten up. 
Okay, so with this one, um, the whole purpose of the white energy is to get rid of any toxicity, to do like this cleansing, this clearing. It's like a cleaning up. White is the color of purity, right? And so things are not pure if they're not clean. So um, this is going to help us like kind of understand what's going on. Um, you might experience like cleaner, clearer skin if you really embrace this color energy. It represents integrity and truth and also surrender. And so with that tower card, it's kind of like, oh, okay. So yeah, I'm just going to trust that this is like for a highest good, that I'm just like, you know, tearing it down and rebuilding. And what I rebuild in its place is going to be awesome, whether that's a relationship, a job, like a way of doing things, a mindset, whatever. So um, with this one, your affirmation is, I give myself permission to lighten up and experience ease in my body and soul. So you're kind of going to want to go through this month with this sort of like, okay, I can handle this. Like a go with the flow type of uh, energy. Okay, now um, what I also wanted to mention though, before we get on to your March in a nutshell, like kind of an overview, is that for you guys, purple tones, lavender, lilac, like um, I maybe indigo, even though that's more of a blue, but like violet, royal purple type colors, you're going to want to avoid those. I would even avoid magenta. Um, the reason why is because they are not going to affect you well this month. Um, purple is a beautiful and very spiritual color, but this month you're going to want to avoid it. So um, this might not be the month that you really try to decalcify your pineal gland. This might not be the month where you use a lot of amethyst or, um, you know, you try to really awaken your third eye and like, you know, become more psychic. This is not the month for that necessarily. Um, this is a month where you're going to want to use colors like white and maybe some blue for the communication, which the sodalite obviously totally encompasses. Um, but white is your power color, very, very much so, more than any other color in the spectrum, even though you might say white is not a color. It's a void of color. But anyway, um, avoid purples. Why do you need to avoid purples? They go, because this is, because then you'll miss an opportunity. Um, like, remember how we started in the reading and they were like, hey, somebody's like going to give you a gift or um, more tips, like at work, if you're in a service industry or like an awesome opportunity, like something's going to come to you that's of material value and you'll miss it maybe if you're using too much purple. Anyway, March overall in a nutshell. They're saying, um, really the only, there's not like a whole lot of stuff going on here where it's like, oh, well, you know, this is a crisis thing and like, I really need to make an immediate decision about this and like that. They're like, this is just a month where you totally take control and like dominate your whole life and like you look awesome while you do it. Taking control of every situation that you can in your own life of like the direction of how things go and, um, might sound a little bit weird when they're saying you're also kind of in this like go in the with the flow energy but it's like controlling the things that you can and understanding that everything happens for a reason controlling your responses to that makes you look very powerful and in control of things and gives you a lot of confidence and you're not wrong this is a month where you find a lot of balance a lot of work-life balance where your finances finally come into balance where um you know you create a schedule for yourself where you have time for your friends now like that sort of a thing this is a month where there's a lot of joy and happiness and stability that carries on um into april and all the way through the end of april so awesome for you i love you so much see you in april and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20 minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!